Excuse the croaky voice. Um, I've been thinking about making a board game where you build a puzzle, and that puzzle is uh, like a jigsaw puzzle, and that puzzle represents a factory, and different components fit together in different ways, such that, uh, say for example, something that could burn something would have a fairly open keyway that could accept a multitude of different shapes, um, but uh, say something that required a very specific type of resource would have exactly the matching shape for that resource. You can't feed coal into a machine that makes screws, but you could feed wood into a machine that takes coal, for example. Um, so I started 3D printing different prototypes of different sorts of shapes, getting a feel for how things all fit together. <coughs> um, and I got a set of dimensions that worked pretty well, um, and a number of different kinds of shapes. So I've got four here, I think. Um, so there's a big hemisphere. One's pretty straightforward. And then I've got a few of those. And I've got a triangle version, double triangle version, and a double hemisphere version. So this gives you a fair number of cool possibilities. So uh, the double triangles fit into the double hemispheres, but the reverse is not true. The double hemispheres don't fit into the double triangles. The double hemispheres fit into the double hemispheres, obviously, and, and so on and so forth. So you can put together a sort of combinatorial logic um, and define rules for what pieces can connect to what other pieces. Um, and then, yeah, everybody has their own little factory in front of them, assembled out of um, the pieces that they've chosen from a market or drafted or something. Oh, that doesn't fit. Um, and I'm thinking of having some sort of system of pips where you haven't got a pip, but I've got this, so you activate that one, and if all the inputs to the next one are activated, then you can activate that one, and then you produce resources and you sell them on a, on a communal market and that kind of thing. <coughs> early days yet but yeah um, I'm thinking these would be much better to be uh, laser cut but I don't have a laser cut I have a 3d printer and these things take a minute amount of plastic and they print quite quickly quickly Ugh. Um, so I'm thinking of other options for how to enforce um, different combinations like say for example these that's a double hemisphere kind of looks like a butt and then the double triangle. So that works, but that doesn't. But then how do I generalize that logic? Um, so I could have a, a double, a, a single triangle that just has one small triangle on the side, and that would fit into this. But then if you had a single triangle socket, a double triangle plug wouldn't fit it. Yeah, there's lots of scope for that kind of stuff, but it's kind of hard. I need to develop some sort of mathematical, mathematical, mathematological logic that encapsulates all the different combinations. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of.